Before finishing a project, you will definitely go through the process of rendering to be able to see the result of your hard work that you have put into your project, which is the moment of truth for you as an artist. For some, it is a happy moment, for others, not so much. That's why many render engines are developing the real-time view to help you see a preview of how it looks when you change the settings of your scene. That's why the IPR concept was introduced. One prominent example is D5 Render, which came to us with real-time rendering and started proving itself by revamping the visual storytelling workflow where you can see the result while you are working, from the scene creation to the final artistic touches. D5 Render works with Blender, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, Revit, with LiveSync plugins. It allows you to easily manipulate the sky, the lighting, and many other settings easily thanks to its intuitive simple interface. First of all, D5 Render has a very clean interface that will not waste your time. So you will find the main preview scene in the middle, which will take more than 75% of your screen to allow you to obtain the greatest view that you can get. You will see the control panels where the layers, scenes, objects, and your important components are all stacked on the left side. While on the right side, you will find the scene settings and the object preferences where you can play a little bit with the scene. Making animations and watching the animated result in real time has never been easier or faster. With D5 Render, you can build a scene in Blender and watch your art rendered in real time. This can be done because the D5 Converter that allows you to connect and sync the scene from Blender to D5 Render, or maybe you will prefer the easy animation workflow that this engine offers. Here you will see a small scene that we made using Blender. Now let's watch the result in D5 and see the difference. You can judge by yourself the result and the speed and fluidity of real-time rendering. You can zoom in to see the details that D5 Render offers and it can do this fast with easy steps to follow. Blender and D5 are used to make the scene. But if you prefer another software such as Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, SketchUp or the others, then let me assure you that D5 got you covered because you can download the plugin from the official website, install it in the software you want, and enjoy the live sync and the amazing results. The D5 render engine is equipped with many amazing features that will make creating realistic scenes easier and quicker than ever without compromising the quality of your project. You can make huge modifications to your scene with a few clicks and playing around with the sliders. After that, you can watch the real-time render. As an example, you can watch your scene go from a sunny hot day to a cold snowy day. Or if you prefer the winter and wet cold vibes, you can set it and adjust it by enabling the clouds, adjusting their density and the amount of rain. Depending on your preferences, you can choose between using in the engine environment or you can use the HDRI settings that you can find in the assets tabs on the right top corner. Also, you probably didn't know that D5 Render has a huge library of assets ready to go. Let me tell you about it. The Assets tab has three categories, Materials, Models, and Particles. Each category has subcategories classifying the assets in order to make search for the perfect match and easy job for you. You can find buildings, people, cars, street signs, furniture, and many other things that you can add to your scene just by dragging and dropping them into your environment. And the good thing is, it works for all your scenes and artworks, no matter how wild the idea is. And of course, wild ideas can come with fires and explosions, or some water splashes, or anything that works with particle systems. So yes, D5 Render gives you a very beautiful set of particle system models like fire, smoke, and other stuff. Additionally, beveling and having round corners for your objects has never been a problem in D5. It is really a one-click option, which means when you put materials, you can find a switch that says round corner. Just activate it and adjust the radius, and congratulations, you have rounded edges smoothly with no efforts. Maybe you think I am exaggerating when you phrase it like that, saying it is so easy and it does not take a lot of work. So D5 sent us two scenes if you want to see what exactly that looks like. We have between our hands the nature project where we see a small lake in the forest with some very beautiful textures in the rocks and a natural gradient of a green and brownish orange for the trees and the herbs with the sun and the fog laying on the scene giving a nice beautiful touch for this project. We have got four scenes. You may have noticed that by looking at the top left of the screen, each scene has its own camera angle and settings. You can write that down because it is so important to know that you can make different scenes from the same environments with different settings. Now, let's make some changes in the environment. 
For example, let's make a cloudy cold snowy environment. All we need to do is adjust the HDRI option by adding a blue temperature to give it a cold feeling. Then we adjust the clouds option and we make them thick and low. Then we activate the precipitation option and drag the slider to the snow side. Then we adjust the puddle and the strength and voila. Adding PBR textures is also very easy with D5 render. With just a few clicks, you can add normals, roughness, displacements, and other maps. Each one of them is easily adjustable depending on your preferences. The rendering options are also very beautiful with very nice results. You have wireframing view that gives you the precision you need when placing your lights and objects in the scene. The outlining is very accurate and ambient occlusion as well. D5 makes the shadows look realistic without even adjusting the settings thanks to the ambient occlusion which is a shading technique used to make 3D objects look more realistic by simulating the soft shadows that should naturally occur when indirect or ambient lighting is being casted out onto the scene and D5 render will give you that ability to work like a professional. Rendering settings are not complicated and do not need a lot of knowledge. Just choose if you need a picture or a video and adjust the frame and choose if you need the channels exported along with the final picture. Exploring the world of D5 is so fun, and the learning curve is not that steep. Not because it doesn't have many things to explore, but because of its simplicity and efficiency. You can check their YouTube channels and watch their videos to have a better idea about their products. Personally, I love my experience with it, especially the simple and easy integration with other software. At the end of this video, I highly recommend taking a look at their free version because it has a lot of good stuff in it. To go to their website and their YouTube channel, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.